definitely structured. <laughs> I decided to be creative on my 35th birthday. Wow. How is this real? It's not. <laughs> Looks pretty real. Do you want to go in? Look at that. Oh, that would be an awesome pick. Yeah. Wow, this is so cool. <clears throat> like, do people actually go with their bike there into it? Yeah. In you go. <laughs> oh, God, I probably would have done that. Wait, sun's coming out just for you, babe. Wow. What was it called again? Dredge hole dam something. Dredge hole. Dredge hole. With the rope swing. Courtney and I are just out on a early morning walk before we go to our 10k run tonight for Buffalo Stampede. Met a lovely couple named uh, Cecilia and Brett at the accommodation. Uh, nice to meet you guys by the way. Uh, certainly encouraged us to do some videos again. Um, get this up for you. Um, finally we could have talked a bit more. <laughs> Very beautiful here. Beautiful way to spend my 35th birthday. With my baby girl. <laughs> what better way to start the day? Beautiful sausage roll, a pie. And a burger bun. <laughs> well, it's delicious. That's the biggest blight I could do. Yeah. Oh, Courtney and I out for some geocaching. This was a large one, obviously. It's got pencils and we haven't opened this part yet. No pen, no worry. Very easy to find, so. See? Yeah. Pencils. Pencils in here. Yep. Yeah. Anything like that. That's so cool. Oh. Dad would love this. Yeah, he would. Ooh. You want to yeah. do the honors? No, you do it. What have we got here? Oh, that's cool. Is that trackable? No. No. That's cute. Oh, what? Oh. Oh! <laughs> that is cool. That is so cool. The local um, <laughs> obstacle course. Should you start on the other side? Yep. Hi. <laughs> Why do I have to do it first? Because I've got the camera. What? And you're more attractive. And Dad's calling. You have to wait, Dad. What fun music for the background. Come on! <laughs> Do a flip! <laughs> oh, here's your favourite. Oh, Balancing!
Come on, birthday boy. <laughs> Start again. <laughs> no. I hate these. <laughs> <laughs> you spin me right <laughs> you should add that song to that bit <laughs> can run a hundred k's but can't get across a few times <laughs> Ground. That's not fair. Is it meant to be here? What? Oh, do that one, then maybe you have to come back and do what, that. that way? No, you have to do that one. That one, and then walk forward, walk back, and then continue. Oh. Oh my god, they're so. <laughs> okay, I'll forget. Come on. <laughs> Can run 50 k's but can't do this. Oh. Ow! No, I'm gonna friggin' split my legs apart. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, ah. <laughs> oh my god! Start of the tank K soon. Not long. If you had a beer yet, if you haven't, <laughs> do both of those things. Uh, go to the, the toilet one last time. I hear this 10k track is um, mean and nasty and as fun as it gets. Is that about right, mate? That's exactly right. All the locals uh, will know the launch pad up on top of Mystic behind us. You get a nice little warm up along the creek until you hit the hills and then you are straight up. If you've um, if you've had 10 or 20 beers and a and a palmer or something that's you're full, you feel full, but you feel pretty invigorated. There's still about 50 bibs that can go out tonight. So um, there's the challenge, folks. If you're sitting around, uh, otherwise, well, yeah, just if you want to come say something wacky, you've got a story to tell, you come find us and we'll indulge you. We're um, we're into that. So um, remember, away, folks. We're about. 30 minutes away from the start of the 10k race and the first of this year's event and you little beauty! <laughs> We can go to Clear Spot in four hours. We can go to Mystic and Down in three, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I found the hardest part of the climb was the Clear Spot. Yeah, I remember the first year here, one of the Ks going up Clear Spot took me 30 minutes. Yeah. yeah. Let's just pretend we're not in a race. Why not? Oh. Look, the finish is just there. Oh, we're done! We're nearly done! <laughs> Beautiful spot for Buffalo Stampede. We are 1.4 k's in. Courtney's doing well. That sexy girl of mine. Lots of people messaging me now. But we are just enjoying it. Oh, oh she goes. 
Turn right. Yeah, boy. We go up there. It's under the bridge. That's pretty cool. <sighs> Greetings. Oh, thank you. No, we start the fun part now. Hello, puppy. Hello, puppy. Oh, do you mind holding this while I get yeah. it? Yeah. Alright, where's the best way? There's no best way. <laughs> You'll find it. Alright, we'll see you soon. The beautiful views are bright. Up we go. Oh, it's like <laughs> Such a beautiful view. Well done, Courtney. So we must be at the top of the mountain. Or not. <laughs> Courtney and I've made it to the top of Mystic now. Six fifteen. Yep. How long's it taken us? Will it stay? Uh, it's taken us an hour and thirteen so far. Um downhill. Yeah. I can cry. <laughs> <laughs> yes you can. But you're doing well. Well this is a fun downhill for the buffalo stampede. Should not be coming down here in the dark. The adventures of Buffalo Briggsy and Mango Mamo. This 10k slash 12.6k is extremely different now. Yeah. Courtney and I in the last few k's now. Got about 40 minutes left, which is fine. But we'll get there. And then we shall get our medals and drink some beer. Yeah, baby. Last little bit. Where's the shoot? Huh. Yeah, that's better. Well done. We have some runners in the shoot. Yeah, bye! Well done! Good well on you, folks. Oh, oh yes, we're going to boys. Matt! Cheers. Matt Briggs and Courtney yeah. Rundell. At geocaching today, the first find. Not a bad little one. Just hidden in the log. Successful. We have found a cache that apparently few people have struggled to find. It hasn't been out for very long. Um, took us all of two seconds to find it. So we're those people. 
and we came up here for this the Route 66 travel bug and just wants to go on an adventure and that it will find number three for today a big thermos thing would you like to reveal the contents wow whoa a lot you could probably take the blue thing off oh. as well I'm guessing maybe mm, I can't no. Don't break it. <laughs> or does the bottom come off? Oh, that's easier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's always a simpler way. Um, a cache within a cache. Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. That's very clever. Look, that's it's... nice and clean. Yeah. Silly pink. Can we not put that back in? Yeah. Oh, it's another one of those things. Oh, <gasps> wow. That's pretty. Do you want to swap? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yay. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I didn't brush my teeth today. Oh my gosh, what the hell? <laughs> That's so random. It's actually two face in there. That's more rubbish. Mm. Why'd you put rubbish in there? Lip balm. <laughs> This is deadly stuff. What? Glitter. Someone's been putting jars of glitter in these series. Yeah. I like it. You want them. One more jar case for the day. Nice ammo can. Whoops. Well, they've been stuck in there for a while. I shall return. Yeah, up the hill. See you in 10 minutes. We're at Tobias um, Gap. On the way to Mount Feathertop, but not going to Mount Feathertop. <laughs> Another 6Ks would be there though. And for today, we're both stuffed. This was under dead wombat bones. Oh, that's so sad. And it was all the way, this is very steep, all the way up there. <laughs> oh. Sequins. What? Sequins. Mm. Like, the cut and paste or whatever. Mm. Another Sudoku. It's cool. Smiggle. <laughs> oh. Another one. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, far out. Yeah. Peace. Yeah. Someone, someone, some hippies come up here and yeah. I, I love the badges though, they're pretty cool. You want the badges? <laughs> the places we go to find your air caches. At least we found the last one for today. Mm -hmm. On our slow return back down the mountain. Welcome to Buffalo Stampede. Greetings all. <laughs> it's like, hmm, nice and cool. Nice cold morning. Glad to be off the bus. 
I was starting to feel not so good. Just a bit of motion sickness. Check out this guy's car. Screen come. Love you, baby. Good morning, Stampeders. How you all doing? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. How about this? This is pretty cool. I've never done this before. How about you? How's that mean if you've run in the snow before? Yeah? Ah, oh, heaps of you guys. This is great. So, my name's Nigel. Uh, I'll be your race director for this morning. And uh, first of all, we got any Grand Slammers? Hands up, Grand Slammers. Give them a round of applause. Well done. Awesome effort. 10k Friday, 75 yesterday, and just a lazy 42 this morning. It's going to be good. So, first of all, let's acknowledge the traditional owners of the lands on which we're stampeding through today. It is pretty spectacular land, and uh, let's treat it with the respect it deserves, and uh, we pay our respects to elders past, present, and emerging, uh, because they've done a wonderful job, and we are going to continue that. So welcome, this 42 kilometer Sky Marathon is sponsored by Bright Brewery, which is where you're finishing. Give it up Hell to yeah. Bright Brewery. So the course for the entire course is marked with pink ribbons by our uh, awesome course markers. So follow those ribbons. They are line of sight for the duration of the course. There are also at all of the turns, I'm holding up here, green arrows to point the direction of travel. The green arrows, follow the green arrows, follow the ribbons. There are also some of these flashy, flashy lights on course as well. You may see some of those. Not particularly relevant today, but may be useful for you as you're finding your way. The cross that says wrong way, I reckon that's pretty self-explanatory. If you see one of those, that is a wrong way, please turn around and head back. As I said, most of the signage is line of sight. So if you walk, run, jog, crawl for a particular, you know, a few minutes without seeing a ribbon, please stop, retrace your steps, go back to the last ribbon that you saw, please, okay? We don't want to be picking you up from Porpunka or Wangaratta, but if that happens, we will, we will come and get you. It's all right. So let's have a quick chat about the start. So from the start, you'll head directly behind me to the cricket pitch, to the orange cone. You have to round that cone and then head over this way. Wave to me, Elise. See Elise over there? That is where you will join the single track. From there, you will head back up towards, you came off the bus or the car park. I hope you parked in the right area. And you'll head through there. Same route as traditional has been mapped. You'll go straight down the steps to the underground stream, underground river section. Okay, so you go down, down there, back up to where you normally would join Lake Katani. So normal route to that point. But instead of continuing on to the galleries, we have two marshals there. They will turn you right back onto the bridge, back to the car park. And once you get back to the car park, you will turn right back to those steps. We have a timing loop there and you'll repeat that loop. So you'll go back down the steps past the underground river again, back to the bridge, back to the car park. Does that make sense? Cool. Yeah. Two reasons we've done this. One, it's snowing. <laughs> Two, <Where? laughs> there are often big queues getting into the galleries. And so it is a hypothermia risk for you to be queuing, waiting for people getting through the galleries. Okay, so they're the main reasons for this change. The course is approximately 100 meters shorter. Oh. So, <laughs> that's a bonus, right? It's still roughly 42 kilometers, all right? So you're still getting your bang for your buck. If anyone comes and asks me for a refund, I apologize, you won't get one for that. So, <laughs> let's repeat that again. You head up, normal route, up to the car park, down the steps, around the underground river section to the bridge, turn right, 
back to the car park, turn another right, down to the steps, uh, over the under, uh, past the underground river section, back to the bridge, and then you come back through here. So this is the section where if you want to keep your puffer jacket on, you can drop it off here because you'll be continuing on your way past this point again. So that is an option. Medical have highly recommended uh, that you do that. Please take care through those step sections. They'll be very slippery, they'll be very icy. Another section which will be very icy is called Mackie's Lookout, uh, which is part of the big walk section. Um, there's not a lot of snow down in Bright, so once you get down off the mountain, um, you will uh, warm up, hopefully, and uh, you won't get so much. Yeah. There are road crossings. Um, most of the road crossings are signed and marshals, but do take care with cars, particularly as it will be difficult for them to stop in an urgent uh, hurry at this point. Um, and do keep an eye out. I normally say keep out for, an eye out for cyclists, but that may not be a thing today. <laughs> Probably Eight not. stations on course. We have fixed nutrition. We have water. We have food. We also have endurance medical services. Wave for me. Endurance Medical Services in the High Beers, they are both, uh, well, they're all part of the course and we have them at a uh, number of aid stations and at the finish line. So if you need first aid at any time, look for some of these people in High Beers. We also have, uh, where is our photographers? We have photographers on course as well to capture the day. They're just behind me. Um, and also cutoff time. So we will be enforcing uh, and talking with you throughout cutoff times today. We got everyone in last night for the 70 of 5K. So let's do that again. <laughs> Finally, we have your uh, mobile phone numbers and we've already done this already, but we will send you an SMS in case of emergency. So please do check that periodically throughout the run. You need to have that with you. Final point, when you get to Bright, you, uh, when you go past the splash park in Bright, you need to keep left and go up towards the Blue Hocker Arch. That is your finish line. There'll be beer waiting for you and a beer can. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's get rocking and rolling. All right, get your gear off and uh, we'll start in two minutes. Well done, guys. Four, three, two, one. Good luck. Good luck, Ben Peters. Hey guys, 4.3 k's in, we already stripped off because it's way too hot for me, let's check this out. So they had to change the uh, course so we're doing two loops up the top, this is my second loop now, oh, not easy. Um, I was kind of getting annoyed at people around me, so I let a heap overtake me. I got back to the car park, had a nice toilet break, and now making my way through this second loop before going down to Eurobin. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm so glad it's cold. <laughs> Well, here's the awesome cheer squad. Whoop, whoop. Enjoy your day. <laughs> See you next time. Thank you for being out here. Greetings. Next update. Uh, seven and a half k's in. I was finished the second loop. And now we're starting the big walk. Or the big run walk down to Eurobin Creek, the fun part.
greetings one and all. That's it. See you in a few hours. Here we go. Looking forward to it. The finish line that is. See you soon. Yeah, yeah boy. That's the end of the big walk. I'm down, just about to get to Euroban Creek. And then I'll be making my way up Keating. Uh, then down Keating, through the Buckland Valley, up to Clear Spot. <sighs> Hard stuff. I'm not gonna lie, this is bloody hard. Oh. I'm trying. I just have to get up on top of one of those mountains somewhere. I have to get to basically 32k mark. And what's the time? 10.55, I've got just over two and a half hours to do six or so Ks, but I have to get up to the top of those mountains. <sighs> I've stopped over a walk for a little bit, just to cool down. Oh, I think I've just seen the hill I have to get up. Oh, wouldn't do this if it wasn't for a challenge. Keep going, Maddie. So I think it's that one right up there. Oh, not that one. If that makes any sense. <sighs> really buggered. I've got 13 minutes left of video. <sighs> Might be the dark moments of the run. Let's stay strong, hey? Don't ever let anything stop you from your goal. Have to get to that tower up there. I can do this. I can do it. Just keep moving. <sighs> Greetings all. So now I'm nearly at the top of clear spot. Got about 1400 meters to go to get to the checkpoint. Uh, yeah. That's about all I've got for now. <laughs> What's your name again, sorry? Gary. Gary? Yeah. Gary. You don't mind being on the video? Uh, <laughs> no, man. Yeah. It's just random videos I put up on YouTube, usually running ones. Yeah. So Gary and I have been having a chat for a while now, sharing stories, and we're both gonna get through. Get off the couch. <laughs> Love it. I'll just tell them that. Yeah. <sighs> Come out here and enjoy the fun. That's what you're missing out on. Oh, that's a good shot, actually. We left over there. We were over there. Yep. We need to get back over there. Yep. Not too far now. <sighs> See ya. Clear spot, baby. Come on, Rain. <sighs> hey, Baron. There you go. I'm on top of Mystic. I've got 
one hour, 40 minutes to get to the bottom. Five k's from here. I'm allowing myself an hour to get to the bottom and then 40 minutes to do three k's. At this point, I know I've got it. Four kilometers to do in one hour, 27. Very hard. I'm nearly there. You guys know the event's over. Time, time for some burgers and chips. And my girlfriend, who I love. And thank her for all of her support. Devourer of my chips. I'm not eating them. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>